Hello everyone, I'm Ernie and I am so glad you're here with us today. And today we're going to be working with 40 pounds of ore that an old timer named CJ gave to me. We're going to take this ore, we will cook it, we will crush it, we will pan it out, wash it out, and we will use our aquaregia process to extract whatever precious metals we have in this 40 pounds of ore. Here is some of the ore that we received. Here is our 40 pounds of ore from old timer CJ. And we're going to get this in the furnace and we'll go ahead and fire it up. Well, wow, that top piece on the left there looks really, really good. I like that one. Can't wait to see what we get out of this material. Our ore has been cooking now for about 45 minutes and it's about 2,000 degrees. The reason why we cook our ore is when we get it up to about 17, 1800 degrees and we allow the ore to cook thoroughly, it makes it easier to crush either by hand or running it through the rock crusher. The reason why we hand crush our ore down to about an inch, inch and a half is because it makes it easier to get it into the chute of our rock crusher. Here is our ore after we had crushed it. Here is the concentrate that I had hand panned out of the 40 pounds of ore and now I'm going to roast the concentrate and the reason why I am roasting it is because there's a lot of sulfides in the ore and by roasting the sulfides it'll turn the sulfides into oxides and then the sulfides will release the precious metals that are inside the sulfides. We will roast the sulfides to 900 to 1200 degrees and until it stops burning, until it stops smoking, and then we will let it cool off and measure out how much concentrate we have. Here is the concentrate that we got out of our ore. We're going to weigh it up and see how much we got. And we have 56 grams from 40 pounds of ore. We are going to add in our hydrochloric acid to wash our material. And the hydrochloric acid will take out or remove most of the base metals that are inside the material. You can see the hydrochloric acid doing its job. And what I do want to say is when I was cooking this ore, that the sulfur content inside this ore was so heavy, it was the, the odor of the sulfur burning was very, very strong. And even the sulfur in this material with the hydrochloric acid is very, very strong. My son is doing some woodwork about 60 feet away and he can smell the odor of the hydrochloric acid and the sulfur burning. Okay, now it's time to rinse out the hydrochloric acid from our material.
I did want to say that I did rinse this material out a bunch of times. I didn't keep count, but I had to do it because it was very dirty and I got it pretty clean. Here is our material after all the washes that we did. We are now going to mix our aqua regia, which is one part nitric acid and three parts of hydrochloric acid. I did want to mention right here that there is a step that we could do before this aqua regia and we could just add in nitric acid and what the nitric acid will do is it will dissolve the silver into the nitric acid then we can decant the nitric acid into a, another beaker or a flask and then we can cement the silver at a latter time but we're not going to do that right now so that's why we're adding in the aqua regia in this process and let's see what happens. At this point in time, I have let the aqua regia boil for about an hour. And now what we're going to do, we will pour the solution into the funnel so that it will drain into the beaker. At this time, we are going to mix up some 
iron sulfate and some water and we will pour it into our aquaregia solution and if it turns brown it means that there is gold inside the solution. It looks like we have a favorable result. And now what's going to happen is that the, the dark color or the gold shall liquefy back into the aquaregia. Our solution seems to look pretty cloudy right now. I'm not sure if that's normal. I didn't think it was supposed to. But anyhow, this is what we got. We are going to add in some urea into our solution to neutralize the nitric acid. Now we will mix in some iron sulfate in with this water and we will add it into our solution to cement our precious metal. Now we will let this sit for at least three hours. It is now the following morning and what I do want to say is when I left this alone uh, last night for about an hour, hour and a half, and when I came back in, it had uh, overflow. We had a boil over for some reason, but as you look on the top of the solution, you can see some silver, and I believe that would be silver uh, chloride, and on the bottom, I forgot to show it in this uh, video, but it does not look like there's any gold, but it looks like there's just some silver down on the bottom of this. And let's work this out and see what we get.
here is the material we got out of our solution and it's definitely not gold and I'm guessing that it's silver and we'll work it out and see what we get. We have our material inside the dish and we're going to evaporate the water with the furnace. And once everything dries out, we'll turn the heat up, we'll add in some borax and we'll see what type of material we get. Here is the silver that we got, and I was able to work the silver down towards the edge of the dish and the silver bonded together better. And we'll have a closer look at this with our microscope. I did say the solution, and you can see some silver chloride that's in our solution, and I'm gonna have to work the process to get that silver out of there. Here is what our silver looks like under the microscope. Well, this wraps up this episode of getting our silver out of our 56 grams of concentrate from our 40 pounds of ore that we received from CJ. And I do want to make a mention here at the Comstock Load in, Vir in Virginia City and, and in northern Nevada, we have a lot of electrum, and electrum is gold and silver mix. And so I'm kind of thinking that I didn't do anything wrong because there was probably not any gold in inside that concentrate, but it was mainly silver. And so my good friend Garrett in Oregon will educate me on if I did something wrong or if I need to do something differently. But anyhow, I enjoyed the process. I hope you did too. And if you enjoyed this episode, I encourage you to smash that like button and to share this on your channel so that others can enjoy the experience that we have just gone through. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I would like to encourage you to subscribe and to become part of our AU family. We would love to have you in the family. We are so thankful that you're here. We appreciate your support and we will see you on the next one.